My name is Steve Smedley. Um, I am the Restoration and Repairs Manager. I'm based at Moor Green Delivery Centre, working for Central Networks, which is part of the E.ON Group. Our function primarily is to keep the lights on. The area and the regions that we cover are Nottinghamshire, the whole of Nottinghamshire and the whole of Derbyshire. So every customer that's connected, we have a responsibility to keep their lights on. And when the lights do go out, my team goes out and, uh, and fixes it and gets people back on as quickly as possible. I, in, in all honesty, I wasn't probably the, the, the most academic person while I was at school. And um, my sort of pastimes or, or the things I enjoyed most at school uh, was sort of physical education, PE, sports, that kind of thing. I left school uh, in 1985 and we had uh, what we call a, a youth training scheme or, or the government had a youth training scheme uh, that, that was set up there. And uh, I went to the Chamber of Commerce, told them that I would like to work with computers and um, they came up with a, with a placement to, to what was then EMEB, East Midlands Electricity Board, um, a year's placement which, uh, which I, I took on. I was still unsure as, as what I wanted, um, but I started maturing then and after that first year I was uh, fortunate enough to get a permanent post. Uh, it was probably a couple of years later when I spent some time in, in the engineering department where I actually decided that's the career path that I wanted to take and I thought, yeah, this, this is the time then. I need to try and get some, uh, some further qualifications in my belt and, and, and start um, being serious about uh, my career path and that's what, that's what I did. I was aware of the people that, that came onto the YTS, uh, the Youth Training Scheme before me and there were a number of people that were sort of overlapping and, and overtaking it and, and progressing their careers quicker than me and, and it got to the stage where I thought well I'm not really getting anywhere here. Um, that was one uh, motivational aspect. Two, I saw what the engineers did. The, the work looked very interesting. And uh, because of those things, it, it, it was something that, um, that I would say appealed to me. Going back to 2000, the year 2000, we had quite a significant change in the business. I was a third engineer, as, as it was known then. And I remember at the time I wanted to be a second engineer. And we were all counselled. And on the form, you had to put three choices of what you wanted to do. And I always remember the manager at the time um, sort of saying to me, uh, you, you, you've got your third choice, it's up to you if you want to take it, but I believe the way that the business is shaping up within the next two or three years, you will be a second engineer as a program manager, not, not in the light that you want to, but as a program manager, if that's the route that you wanted to take. And um, uh, that sort of steered me uh, you know, on a slightly different career path, uh, a managerial path, which, which has then sort of led me to where I am now ultimately, I guess. At school, I, um, I do have regrets. I wish I'd tried harder. Uh, if I had tried harder, the work that I have done after school, um, uh, would have, I wouldn't have needed to have done it. I spent three years at college getting O-levels, which if I'd have got my head down at school, I could have saved myself three years of time. Um, but I had to get that in order to get onto the, uh, the ONC, uh, which I wanted to, to do to, uh, um, to, to become an engineer. So that's a big regret. Um, you know, uh, at school I could have tried a lot harder and it would have saved me a lot of pain uh, after school.